Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is another video for tipsquirrel.com. Now, if you're using CS6 and you've been used to using CS5 or before, you may have noticed a change in the crop tool. If I go over and click on the crop tool here, there's a big change. Up in the top here, we used to have the ability to crop in perspective, but that has now gone. And the reason for that is that it now has its own dedicated tool. So if I go over to the crop tool and click and hold, there's the perspective crop tool. Okay, let's take a look at using the perspective crop tool. First things first, I'm gonna zoom right in. and I'm gonna find somewhere that has quite definite perspective lines. This window, for example. So now I'm gonna to go to my perspective crop tool and I'm gonna go as close as I can to the very corners of this window to mark out my perspective. Once there, all that I have to do you would think, if I control zero, is to pull these out. As you see, as I pull these out, it loses its perspective. If I pull this one out as well, and then pull it down, you'll notice very soon that I've lost the line of perspective. See on that window there, it's way off. I'm not too worried about this rail here because that's actually rounded, but if I come down to the bottom here, we're well off here as well. So we haven't done a very good job what we need to do is give Photoshop a bit more of a fighting chance. So I'm going to press escape here. I'm going to zoom in again, but I'm going to take in more of the window. This time with the perspective crop tool, I'm going to go around the outside of the window and I'm going to try again to be as careful as I can and get right into the corners. You could do this with the outside of a building, for example. Okay, let's go right to the top there. And once again, click. And you can see that I've got it all, not quite. Let's try that a bit more. There we go. This time I've got it nice and square. So control zero to bring in the whole image. Now if I drag down, hopefully because we've given it a bit more of a fighting chance, we've kept more of a perspective. Again, I'm not worried about the top of the railing there. It is a rounded railing. But even when I get down here, I'm still following these lines. I'm much happier with that. Okay, let's pull this one up and make sure we've got the perspective there as well. Yes, we have, that's good. And then bring this one out and this one out and we should have something that's in perspective. I'm going to click the tick and sure enough it crops it nicely for us. Now when you've been staring at something like this when it actually pops out it sometimes doesn't look like it's very square so there's an easy way to check. I've already got my rulers here but if you haven't then just press R and your rulers will come up and click and drag on a ruler and dragging down you can see that I've got a nice horizontal line that I can check my line, lines excuse me of perspective now the museum sign I think there we go look at that nice and square and sure enough the top of the window as well let's go back down to the bottom and that's good and square just take that line back up to the top and I can pull out a guide from the left hand side as well and I can check the lines here check the outside of that one that's good and the bottom one bottom window looking nice so in fact it's all very nice and square. Good, I'm going to put that one back and press R to get rid of my rulers. So there we are. We've done that very, very simply, but we do have to give Photoshop a bit of a fighting chance and give it a nice area to work from. The more area we can give, the easier Photoshop finds it. And that's it. Short and sweet from me this week. My name's Eric Reno. This was a video for tipsquirrel.com. Make sure you check out all the nuts who give their time and their expertise for free at tipsquirrel.com.